remember Johnny Quinn in Millington 10 years ago, a fire nearly killed him. It changed his and his family's life forever. But his remarkable journey of healing may just change yours. It's a beautiful story. Fox 13's Merle Purvis has this special report. Yeah, I remember, like, every bit of it, what happened. It was a backyard haystack fire in 2003 where John Daniel Quinn lost his fingers and thumbs, his eyelids, nose, and ears. He was burned over more than 95% of his body. But the bright 14-year-old clearly doesn't need hands to turn out beautiful sketches. That's his favorite hobby. When you're in the fire, it doesn't hurt. Like, the fire does not hurt your skin. It just feels like you're really hot and you're sweating, but you're not. And it's like, after a while, you just pass out. Not easy, just simple lines. <laughs> Big sister Leah is all smiles this Thanksgiving week, but on November 20th, 10 years ago, she experienced what she calls terror. Leah ran in and out of a burning shed three times trying to save Johnny. The third time I knew where I was, and so I just ran in there and full force grabbed with all I had. Burned on her face, ears, arms, and back, but she got her baby brother out. I screamed and cried, God, please let him breathe. And he gasps for air and starts screaming. There was another attempt made to save John that day by the family pet, Max. It started burning and my dog jumped in my lap and was trying to protect me. Max, the family dog, died. But doctors would later say the only skin not burned on Johnny was what was covered up by Max and it was just enough to graft to his burn back and chest. But when I saw Johnny, he, he was just, the only thing that we could see was his little fingers sticking out of the, the mummy bandages they had him in, and the ball of his fingers were split all the way down to the bone. Johnny's dad, Alan, a butcher by training, is the one who taught art to Johnny. He says doctors replaced the skin that melted off his son's face with artificial skin, but that heart of gold underneath never changed. We still allow ourselves to cry sometimes, but uh, the grace of God. And whenever I don't have enough faith to meet a situation, I just believe God. This backyard reflects none of the horrors of what happened in 2003 from the fire. The shed is brand new. Insurance replaced it. And the fancy jungle gym and playset was kind of designed by John. He wanted a place of joy and fun for his cousins and himself. <laughs> Fox 13 cameras were at their Millington home 10 years ago when Johnny returned from seven months of surgery and rehabilitation. It would take a little longer and a different kind of therapy before John and Leah could look in the mirror and find the part of themselves that wasn't burned, their souls. Now I know that you just have to accept yourself the way you like accept others. You have to help yourself the way you can help others. And some people have it worse than us. Mm -hmm. So we should be thankful for how they are right now. Merle Purvis, Fox 13 News. Come to Milan.